Hi, uh, welcome back. Let's continue with chapter 5. So we just finished this example with the M&Ms. And I want to talk about the mean and the variance of a binomial. So the mean of the binomial distribution uh, mean of the binomial equals n times p. The variance of the binomial sorry the variance of the binomial is NPQ. And we know that the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So the square root of NPQ. And we know that Q is 1 minus P. So you can also write it as square root of NP 1 minus P. Okay, that is the uh, standard deviation. So let's look at an example. Let me look at the... Um, Let's look at this example up here, this M&M &M example. So N here is 8, P is 0.7, and Q is 0.3. So what is the mean going to be? N times P, 8 times 0.7. So we know that, what is it, 8 times 7 is 56, so this will be 5.6. And then you can check if you have a calculator. Oops. Five point six, yep. And then the standard deviation square root of <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, N, P and Q which is the square root of 8 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 um, so we know 8 times 7 is 5.6 times 0 0.3 equals that that is the variance and the square root of that is 1.29 so we can say roughly 1.3 so in this example a huge bag 70% of them are brown I pick 8 M&Ms right on average I can expect five point six as the mean what is the um, units here what are the units units here are M&Ms and specifically brown M&Ms I can expect five point six brown M&Ms with a standard deviation of one point three okay let's do another example uh, let's look at that green pea example. Green peas. We knew that we had, we had um, among five green peas. I think I have it here somewhere. Right here. Among five, among a group of five, I want three green peas. Okay. And it was this one right here. P is 0.75. Q is 0.25. So, like I said, once you figure out N, P, Q, and X in any problem, then it's really easy to just plug these into the formula, okay? So, the mean is N, P, which is, again, 5 times 0 0.75, which gives me 3.75 green peas. And the standard deviation is the square root of N, P, Q, 
which is the square root of 5 times 0.75 times uh, Q. This I can't not do in my head. I have to use the calculator for that. So 3.75 times 0.25. And then we take the... Oops. That's not right. 3.75. So that's 5 times 0 0.75 times 0.25, and then the square root of that is 0.968, so I can say 0 0.97. So again, this is saying on average I can expect 3.75 green peas at the standard deviation of 0.97. Now I know last time um, we used the binome PDF function. The binome PDF function is good if you have, um, if you want to find exactly five. So if I want to find something that's exactly five, or exactly four, or exactly any number, that's the probability that x is going to equal five. For that, we can use the binome PDF n comma p comma 5 if I want to look at more than 5 less than 5 here I'm looking at at most 5 at most 5 means I can have 5 or 4 or 3 or 2 or 1 or 0 right so that's the same thing as saying less than or equal to 5 for that I have to use something called the binome CDF CDF stands for cumulative distribution function. Cumulative, okay, that's the key word. If I'm looking at more than one number, then I have to use the CDF. So that's n comma phi, p comma 5. If I'm looking at less than 5, that's the probability of x less than 5. For that, I'm also looking at CDF, but this time I'm not going to use 5, I'm going to use 4, because less than 5 means I can, um, x can equal 0, or it can equal 1, 2, 3, or 4. So the highest this can go is 4, whereas here, the one above, at most 5, I can go from 0 all the way up to 5 and including 5. So in the CDF function, you always want to put uh, n comma p comma the highest value the function can take. Okay. Uh, what if I want to look at at least five? At least five means it has to be either um, five p. Uh, whoops. It can be x is um, equal to 5, or 6, or 7, or however many I'm going up to, right? So that is at greater than or equal to 5. If something is more than or equal to 5, it means it's not less than 5. So that's like the complement. Either it's greater than or equal to 5, or it's less than 5. So I can use the complement rule and do 1 minus that. And I know how to deal with x is less than 5. That's right up here. So that's 1 minus binome CDF n comma p comma 4. Okay. So again, that's more than or greater than or equal to 5, which is 1 minus the probability of x less than 5. That's 1 minus. And I know how to do less than 5. That's what I did up here. Okay. And I think the last situation is more than five. Alright, so that means that x equals can this equal five? No, I want more than five. So I'm looking at six, seven, eight, however many I have. Okay. If I'm not including five here in the greater than part then I must include it in the less than or equal to part. So the probability that x is greater than 5 
is the complement of um, less than or equal to 5. And I know how to do less than or equal to 5. That's up here. Binome. Whoops. Binome CDF. N comma P comma the highest value we can take is 5. Okay. So you can use this little um, chart or this little information to help you do these uh, cumulative probabilities. Okay. Note that the only situation where I would use binome PDF is in the exactly case. Only case to use PDF. All other cases, um, and the all other cases are cumulative, so they use CDF. Let's do, let's continue an example. So again, I'm going to look at the M&M's example. Again, uh, eight M&M's from a huge bag that is, whoops, not P, N is eight. Eight M&M's from a huge bag that is 70% brown. Okay, first, well, I want to know the probability that I get at most five brown M&Ms. Okay, how do I do that? Well, at most five, that's right here, binome CDF, n comma p, oh, let me use, um, let me not do five, let me do a different number. Let's say I want to look at at most four, at most four brown, okay? So that is, well, I think I need to replace the battery on my pen. It's not working as well as it should. Binome CDF, and I know I have to use N, comma, P, comma, the la largest number it can take. So at most means less than or equal to 5. So um, that is um, uh, that is including 5, so I'm going to use 5. So same thing here. At most means the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. So I'm, I am including 4. That's the highest value it can take. Okay. And if you plug this into the calculator, again, you go to second vars. Oops. Again, you go to second vars, and we're going to go up to binome CDF. N, comma, P, comma, X. Enter, and we get 0.194. Okay. So there's a 19.4% chance that I'm going to choose at most four brown M&Ms. What about if I want to know the probability of less than four brown? Less than four brown. Okay, so less than is all binome CDF. N comma P comma the highest number that I'm including. If I'm looking at less than four, that means I'm not including four. So the highest number that I look at is three. Okay, again, less than four means not including four, so the highest number I'm including is three. Just like we did here, we did less than five, right? So the highest number I included here was four. Um, and then if you plug that into the calculator, let me do this. Again, I can do second, enter, and this time I'm doing comma three. That just copies it over, and I get three, and I get point. So that's like five point eight percent, roughly. Okay. So there's a five point eight percent chance of choosing less than four brown M&Ms. Okay. Probability of at least five brown. 
at least 5. So that means I am including 5. That's greater than or equal to 5. Oh, I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying 5? I don't know why I have 5 on stuck on my tongue. I want to look at 4. At least 4. That's more than or equal to 4. Again, so that's the 1 minus case. That's 1 minus probably x less than 4. So I am um, including 4 here, greater than or equal to 4. So 1 minus the probability of x less than 4. What is What are my options here? 4, 5, 6, and so on. Here I'm looking going from 0, 1, 2, or 3. So that's just like what I did up here. 1 minus binom cdf 8, comma, 0.7, comma, 3 this part and or you can just refer back to your pages you don't have to um memorize these so greater than or equal to four so that's like great that's like this case right here uh so that's like this at least five case here that's one minus binom cdf less than one one minus one minus binom cdf less than one less than that we know this one we just did up front up, up ahead or up above up, is 0 0.058 that's what this was right so that's 1 minus 0 0.058 which is going to be 94.2 percent is that right 94 and 5 is 99 and then 10 so that's 100 so there's a 94.2 percent chance of um getting at least four brown m ms so think about this in terms of um, the actual problem. 70% of my bag is brown. So there's going to be a high chance that I get at least four brown. Less than four brown is lower because there's so many brown M&Ms in that bag. Okay. Uh, let's do one more. Probability of less than four not brown this one's like a bonus right this one requires a little bit more thinking all right so i want this time less than four not brown so i want um it's not x that i'm looking at i'm looking at like the complement of x right uh let me not call it x bar let me just call it like this. I'm looking at the complement of, or, or that's fine. I, I want, I want whatever, however many M and M's I want. I want them to be not brown. That's so less than four. Not brown. So that's gonna be binom CDF. Again, you do the same thing. N N is eight. This time P is not point seven. I'm going to use Q because I'm looking at not brown. How many not brown M&Ms do I have? 30% of my bag is not brown. If 70% is brown, then 30% is not brown. And again, less than 4. So the highest value this can take is 3. Again, less than, less than 5. The highest value you can take is 4. So you can apply the same rationale here. Less than 4, highest value you can take is 3. And let me plug this into my calculator binom cdf and comma eight comma point three comma three enter and i get point eight zero five so roughly eighty one percent or uh what was it eighty point six percent So the chance that less than four of the M&Ms are not going to be brown are 80.6%. Okay. So I hope um, this is pretty much all of the um, binomial distribution. What I'm going to do is post um, on Blackboard, post um, another practice page and then the answer key to that. So you can work on those problems and then check your answers. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, um, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. 
Okay, thanks for watching.